Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up an availability view. Uh, so as a membership you might offer, currently offer or plan to offer some kind of cohort or group system. Uh, an example is if you have a cohort program where say you know 10 to 12 of your members gather together and talk about a specific topic. That's not always easy to set up in something like Eventbrite. And so Airtable is a really nice way to sort of customize that kind of booking process to your needs. So today we're just going to be talking about getting that availability view onto your website or shared via a link so that your members can see uh, what kind of cohorts you have available. So here I am in Airtable. I've created a table called availability and you can see I've put a bunch of columns here. Today we're just going to be talking about these four here. So I put a name for the cohort, as you can see I got really creative, uh, and then the status of the cohort, so whether this cohort is open for bookings, and this will be useful because we don't necessarily want to show, you know, filled or past cohorts uh, on our website. Uh, optionally, you can have a start date if you want that information to be available to somebody when they're, when they're choosing, and another optional uh, field I put in here is the sort of meeting time, the time that cohorts meet up each time. And this can really be anything you'd like it to be. Usually it's, you know, if you want your members to choose between different cohorts, there might be a differentiating factor between them. And that may be, you know, is the meeting time each week something that's suitable for them? Is the topic what they want to talk about? Uh, you know, is there a specific facilitator they want to be grouped with? Those are all things that, you know, the availability view can provide them to help them make an informed choice. So you can see I put some dummy information in here. And so now we have our availability set up in Airtable. But now what we want to do is we want to give our members a view to this so they can make their own choice of which cohort they'd like to join. So to do that, I'm going to create a new grid view and I'm going to call it the web view. Now what I want to do here is I want to hide any fields that I don't want my members to see. So if I have some kind of um, you know, irrelevant information in one of these fields here, I want to hide that. So I go to hide fields, toggle off the field I want to hide, and there we go. And I'll, actually I want, to, I want to toggle off the status as well because what I'm going to do is I'm also going to filter and make sure that I'm only showing on the website the cohorts that are actually open for booking. So if I just unhide that uh, status field again, you'll see I don't, I don't want to show any that are closed. So I'm going to filter and make the condition. So I want it to only include where status is open. You can see now that that field, uh, that third cohort that was closed has now disappeared. And now that I know that it's only going to be open cohorts shown, I'm going to hide that status field. Now, to take a look at this view on the web, there's two ways. So we can either share it as a link or we can embed it onto the website. So sharing it as a link is easiest, but to me doesn't look as nice. And I'll show you how. So I'm going to so here's the, the link it creates. Um, you can change these settings as you need. You probably just want to have them all turned off. Now if I click this, it's going to take me to that uh, web view. But you can see it doesn't look great. It's kind of got extra options up here. It's Airtable branded um, and there's a lot of uh, blank space. So what I prefer doing is doing an embed on the website and then again, it's taking people back to your website and it looks a bit nicer. So let's do that. So I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to go back into share view and I'm going to click embed this view on your site. And this is going to show you a little preview of what it's going to look like on your site. Now I like using card layout on desktop, it just looks a bit nicer. And I like to turn off show, show view controls because your members don't need to worry about filtering you're probably not going to have enough cohorts for that to really matter. So you can see this now looks a little bit nicer. It's just got these nice little boxes where people can see 
information about each cohort. Now, what I've got here is I'm doing this in Squarespace, but the embed process is pretty uh, similar for uh, no matter what um, website builder you're using. Uh, so here I am in Squarespace. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this embed code from in Airtable. So I'm going to highlight, copy, and then I'm going to add an embed into my Squarespace page. And I'm going to click this icon here, which enables me to add the code. I'm going to click out, and I can see now that um, I've got this sort of cleaner view where I just see these cards uh, there. And you can also, you know, obviously you can play around with the sizing of this. If I think it's, you know, if there's too much white space for these cards, I can put in some spaces. to make a view that's more suitable for the content that's being shown. Now I'm going to save that. And if now if I go to my website itself, so this is the actual page, not the uh, creator page, I can see that now that, um, that Airtable view is there. Now the nice thing here is that now this is embedded, any updates in Airtable will automatically be transferred onto your website. So for example, if I go back to my Airtable and I go to my grid view and I know that I am about to add another cohort, but I need to make sure that if I want to show up on the website, I'm going to have it as open. And I can double check that if I go to the web view here, I can see that now cohort, cohort four is showing up. And if I go to, the, to, to my website and refresh it, that cohort four is now uh, there, listed on the page, automatically updated. So that's a really simple look at availability with Airtable and embedding it on a website for your cohort uh, or group booking system. In my next video, I'm going to talk about extending this with an actual booking form that your members can use to grab places in these cohorts. So if, that's, if you're interested in that, check out the next video in the series.